The Skyline uh, Drive-In Theater is, of course, an outdoor venue to watch movies, a drive-in theater. And uh, it's been in operation since 1950. Obviously, on the surface, what we do is we show movies, right? Outdoor movies, uh, double features. It's always double features. Such was the nature of drive-in theaters from the very get-go. And that's topically what it would be, right? You know, for someone to describe it. So I started becoming a fan and uh, what happened is my son turned about three and um, wife was pregnant again and I thought well it'd be kind of nice to you know get him out of the house my son and, and go do something together so we started going to drive-in theaters and uh, you know every weekend we started doing this again and it was really nostalgic for me and there was a change of ownership at the Skyline Drive-In in 2009 and that's when my partner Joe Gowden uh, took over and I could see that things were beginning to change here. The theater wasn't doing very well when he took over and I started realizing you know the passion that he had for what drive-in theaters were always meant to be and I could see the growth that was occurring here and at that time we were going uh, to we were being forced to go uh, to digital projection which was a big change for the drive-in theaters and all theaters, but more so for drive-in theaters or single screen theaters. Well, that was 60 grand for one projector that people had to come up with right off the bat. And a drive-in theater really does not make money. The, the margins are very thin. So to ask a drive-in to come up with 60 grand minimum, you know, if you were a two screener or more, I, I couldn't imagine. Uh, it was a big deal. That, was, that sank a lot of businesses. There's a freedom here at the drive-in. And, um, and it's nice, you can sit in your car and uh, make noise or your kids can cry. You're not bothering anybody else. Um, or people sit outside their car. There's, to us, um, a certain freedom and open atmosphere in a community in a drive-in that you don't get in a very sterile box environment. We do this because we love it. You know, we spend a lot of time here, and um, and it's it's maybe a sickness or an obsession more than anything else. But it's certainly not for the money. It's for the love of what we do, and uh, love of movies, and our love of you know community and everything else. And that's why we're here, and uh, and I think that's a, a special reason as well.